What's up guys, Ian Sandusky from Lakewood Machine and Tool back here again for Practical Machinist and we are here live for day three of IMTS continuing our coverage and right now I'm joined by my friend Joe from Car Lane. Joe, Hi. thank you very much for joining us. Nice to meet you, thank you. How's the show been treating you so far? It's been great, we are happy to be here again and um, we look forward to having more people come in in the next few days. Now you guys do a lot of really interesting work holding type solutions. We do, yes. Uh, it's been throughout the history of Car Lane over the, the last 70 years. That's been uh, our focus, just work holding products and that have um, really uh, changed over the years and we continue to innovate with new products. And we got some of those new products right here in front of us. That's Tell right. me what we're looking at right here. So what we're uh, focusing on now is our pivoting edge clamp system. Uh, many people already know this product and what we've done is uh, added in this system a uh, hydraulic line to help automate the, the process. Because those used to be manually done, right? So I right. turn the screw on the back of that, that's what would pivot that down. This is actually all run by hydraulics if you would like to. That's right. So if you do have the current system, the older system, let's just say, you can automate it by just removing this portion of it, the screw area, and plumbing the hydraulic line. Now we have a little bit of a demo for that setup, but before we do, why don't you tell me what we're looking at back here? I see some kind of pins and I see something that looks like right. a button. In this setup, we have basically one, two, one, two, three products, okay? Along with our uh, pivoting edge clamp, we've, we have our alignment pins. So we have three alignment pins, and we have our air rest buttons that allow the operator to uh, show whether the product is properly uh, nested or secured in its place. So that's not only for safety, that's for making sure that the part's gonna run right. We're that's not gonna right. throw a work holding solution. That's right. So right now, if I press one of these, it wouldn't go. Right. I would need to hit all these down. Right, that's right. So in this piece we have, just to, as a demo, I'll put it in the system. It aligns it. So it's right against those pins in the back. That's right. And it's on those die buttons. Right. And so once I activate the system, we've locked the piece in, into place with our pivoting edge clamp. That's not going anywhere. Right. I might actually end up flipping this thing over before I got that out. Right, that's right, yes. And then if we take that out, I see another set of clamps over here. Yes. Now what are we looking at? So what we've done is uh, basically taken the same setup and we've added our electric swing clamp. I'll switch spots with you okay, so you can great, see Okay, great, thank there. you. So I'll remove this piece from this side, place it in the same nest area, and you will notice right away that the light did turn green. Okay, once I activate the system, the electric oh, wow. clamp goes into place and secures the piece. Those actually came into place and then went down. Right, so we can look at it again. That's crazy. And again, that's right. not going anywhere. Now, what are we looking at here? I see a screen that actually has full controls on it. Yeah, th that's our uh, operating system that's made by Rome Held. Um, so it helps uh, activate the electric swing clamp. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Now, I believe there's one more thing we want to take a peek at while we're here. Would you like to take right. a walk? Yes. Great. So we're going to come around this way over here. Now, this is a super cool looking setup. I think I've seen something like this before, but why don't you tell me what we're taking a look at here? Right. This is our car lock system. We've had our car lock system for a while now. What we have added to the system is the headless car lock system. So now, what you've had in, in the past is um, the system with what we call the head system. But if you have a reduced area, a uh, real estate area, <laughs> what we're doing now is using the same type of system that will align and secure the plate in its place without the uh, top part of so the So basically head. it's a lower profile, smaller work area. Right, so we can use this part demonstrate. Oh wow. This is the car lock system, the headless car lock system. And that's what that fits into right there. Right, and you secure it with a... Oh, it, oh this, wrong Allen this key, one. that one. Yeah, the <laughs> Allen wrench. And then um, it's secure in place. Now, do people use that a lot for fixturing? Like that's kind of the application I would see people using that for a lot. Right, it's, it's actually a very economical way to do it. It's quick 
Um, as you are setting up your fixture, you can set up another fixture system, quickly change the top plate, place it in, the, in, its, in its spot, as you can see in the video, and, uh, you know, Essentially, it's a way. real quick way to palletize your machine if you would like that's to. That's the correct word, right, palletizing, so that's what we do. And the other thing I saw in here, which I believe you mentioned, but not only does this hold in place, this locates. That's right. And yeah. that's repeatable, so I could swap these in and out all day right. and probably have, you know, maybe, a, I don't even know what the tolerance is on these, but it'd be pretty, pretty tight. It, they are tight, they are locating, and they are lining. So now, that's what industries thing. do you see people putting these in right now? What kind of shops are using these? Um, a lot of the aerospace industries uh, that I, I especially deal with on the West Coast. But um, this is really used more for small piece manufacturing pieces, uh, machining pieces. So if you palletize them and you have 20 pieces in, in a series, you can do the 20 pieces and you set up your next 20 pieces and you do a quick change system. So you're getting more production less downtime, right. especially right now with the way the workforce is, you know, everybody's having a hard time finding people. Essentially, one worker can get more done in his day by using a system like this. That's right, it's secure, it's aligned, so you will reduce uh, scrap maybe and uh, other issues, even, even uh, safety issues. Absolutely, mm -hmm. and especially because, as you said, it's locating, I don't need to go put that in and either probe it or pick it up every time I'm That's switching right. out that fixture. Right, and so it's a very popular system, and as I said at the beginning, it's a very economical way to, to take care of this, uh, this issue. Now, what else is coming out soon from Carlane? Is there anything exciting coming out that we should be paying attention to besides these products? So we have, so in this booth, we are um, focusing on uh, new products. Um, a lot of the products that we are developing are becoming better products that we currently have. So, uh, for example, we have some of our clamping, our, our classic clamps, you know, that we've had forever. Well, they're now being made more robust. Um, uh, we're taking uh, other issues into consideration, safety again, and re repeatability yep, yeah, with, uh, with, uh, with the operator. So uh, we're constantly innovating and we have our engineering uh, group that, that's always looking out for that. And it's really looking, just when I look around your, uh, your booth here, that a lot of it is really automation ready. That's right. This is stuff that is gonna help if you have industry 4.0, machine monitoring, you know, even on that last one we were looking at, that has the red green light that can help. You could send that information to a machine and actually keep that with your machine that's monitoring. That's right, that's right. So um, as we move forward from the manual operating systems, we are moving towards the next step is the automated systems and crossing them over. And where can people find out more about Carlane if they want to find you guys? Right, online? our website is always being kept up to date, so it's a great resource. It's carlane.com, you can always look there. And uh, uh, we have engineering information, uh, availability, pricing, uh, customer service is online, 20, 24 hours, we can get someone to help you, basically. And of course, if you're at IMTS, you have to come by That's and right. check out the booth. Yes, absolutely. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very you much. Have a great day. Thank you. We're good.